Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a quick, um, I'd say a quick tips and tricks video of maintaining your PC and avoiding problems. So, one of the biggest problems that I've seen over the years is that the stability of Windows is actually very, very good. Uh, Windows 10 is extremely stable, Windows 8, Windows 7 were stable, even Windows XP was stable, even Windows Vista was stable, although it was sluggish. But over the time, as a tech guy, I've noticed different little things that can make Windows unstable. So, of course, one of them is the hardware. It's not impossible that a glitch in your PC is creating problems with Windows. Um, it's, of course, not impossible that Windows itself has a glitch or something that's not right. But overall, um, you know, over 15 years of tech duties simply showed me one thing. That basically the Windows problems are most of the time third-party problems. What I mean by that, I mean most of the problems I've seen in Windows, and I, I'm, I'm actually giving a number here that's more than 90% of all problems in Windows are created by a piece of software that's installed a bad driver. So this is kind of a little uh, tips and tricks telling you um, what to do to make sure that your PC runs smoothly and doesn't have blue screens or you know freezes. So one of the first things that you could really help your PC with this stop installing a million apps you know your PC use it with the strict minimum of programs and apps that you want to use you go on the internet you want Google Chrome fine but you don't need to install assistance or you don't need to install software that optimizes you don't need to install a million pieces of software the more programs are installed the bigger the risk of your Windows operating system suffering some um, problems at some point pretty much all the time it's always that there's part of the Windows problems that are not real problems also you know I would, there, I would say there's a small percentage of people that it's the lack of knowledge that also um, seems to be a problem with certain things but then you look at it and it's like well that's not a problem it's just you don't know how to use it well um, the other thing and that is probably if, if if you are careful and you don't install a million pieces of software the other thing that I would uh, say is bad drivers that happens more often than we think or well, people have blue screens or have problems and it turns out that drivers in Windows are an issue. And um, drivers are the core of what Windows and the interaction between Windows and your computer, the hardware in your computer. So, of course, updating their drivers to the latest version uh, might fix the problems. A lot of glitches actually are fixed through updates in drivers. And don't forget the software you use a lot of uh, fixes and a lot of things are actually fixed thanks to the fact that you actually have on your PC pieces of software that you update that you make sure are the late at the latest version because software as long as drivers can have bugs and of course they will crash windows sometimes or they will crash on their own so, you know, it's easy to blame Windows for problems, but in reality, it's really third-party drivers and software that is often to blame much more than anything else. Now, if you are plagued with such issues, um, a reinstall, a clean install of Windows, fresh with, you know, the minimum amount of software, what you need to actually work is not a bad idea. Maybe if you don't know how to do it yourself, you can... Um, you know, have the help of somebody that knows what he's doing, or you know, you can follow the instructions I have on how to clean install Windows that um, apparently are 
good enough for a lot of people to uh, clearly understand. But whatever happens on your PC, um, it's you know I know I understand why the people go crazy about you know um, Windows itself because that's what you have in front of you when it crashes. But in reality, like I said, not more than ninety percent of every problems. And stop using cleaning tools, you know, uh, C Cleaner and whatever because they do not help. They do not do anything useful. That's not the way that you know, Windows is going to be, you know, better or, or, or you know, uh, crashless. Um, it has pretty much nothing to do with that. So these are little tips and tricks. And um, just make sure you don't install too many software. And um, make your updates, uh, make your driver, take your driver and update them to the latest version if possible. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.